Live from the first floor studios in the Milo Bell Student Center, it's Mike and Steve in the PM. Hi everybody, how's it going? I'm Steve Kopel. And I am our oh, sports yeah. guy, John Green. And Mike, Mike's, Mike is Mike's late as usual, yeah, I don't think you know, coming. so. How are you doing today, Steve? I'm doing good today, John. You, something strange around here? Are we, is, is it just... Studio looks a little different. Yeah, there's not usually that. What, Wait, are those cameras? Why are those ca are, are we on are YouTube? YouTube? I, Oh, YouTube. That's, YouTube. Yeah. that's that new internet oh. thing, isn't it? The crazy internet. Wow. All those kids are getting yeah, on. We're 21st century now at MAV Radio, and it's kind of a shock to us. Yes, this is uh, quite the step for MAV Radio. From a listening base of 10 in the Milo Bell Student Center to, yeah, to millions on YouTube. Or the 10 that will search the video. So hello to all you YouTubians out there that, you know, might catch Mike and Steve and welcome us to the new world. The, the new world of the internet. Yeah. I think we're going to talk a little bit today about um, how our show got started, mm -hmm. which is Steve and Mike and the PM. John Green's our sports guy. And I think we're going to talk a little bit about Mav Radio last year. Yeah. Um, and about uh, what Mav Radio is going to be doing this year and how we are going to be improving and becoming a stronger, better campus radio station. Taking over Omaha in the process. Yeah, slowly we're going to strangle a life out of the river and those, those other guys that do that other show. We don't want it anyway. No, no. So let's start talking about the beginning of Mav Radio and where it originally came from. The origins of Mav Radio. Back in the 1850s, yes. um, when UNO had just started, they decided to start a campus radio station, I believe. Is that yeah. correct? Abraham Lincoln actually gave them the grant to do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. But it took about 100 years before they finally got going. 1970s, yeah. uh, Mav Radio debuted on the uh, airways around Omaha. Unfortunately, there were a lot of lazy students back then and uh, didn't really keep it going. Yeah. And yeah. ironically enough, back in the 50s, they would just, just yell, which is <laughs> slightly more advanced than we are now. <laughs> yeah, our technology is about that level, isn't it? Yeah. It's, but, you know, we, we it's make good. do with what we do. And uh, nowadays, this is the fifth incarnation of Mad Radio, I believe. I'm not sure. It's, it's been around. It's but, been around. You know, we're, we're back. We're KBUL. And uh, we operate out of the Milo Bell Student Center in the uh, UNO campus. The first floor. First floor, not the second floor of the cafeteria is, although kind of wish we were up there. Yeah. <laughs> and we could eat hot dogs oh, while we that'd were. That'd be delicious. Uh, the previous staff wasn't that good, were they? I, I, to be honest with you, last year was my freshman year at UNO, and I had no experience with the previous staff, but I've heard that it was not. It was subpar. Yeah. That's what I've heard. It's a... Uh, it's the word that's gone around the station. Yeah. But we have a new glorious leader. Will Montesero, our stallion of, of leadership. He in is Radio. quite the leader, and he has an amazingly hot girlfriend. He's got a very hot girlfriend. He is, like, our hero. He's, like, 10 years younger than him. He's, he's amazing. You'd think he's, like, not, not very motivated. He's, like, 30 years old. Yeah. Still going to college. But he's portly, mature. Of a portly shape. He's got a real scraggly, ugly goatee. But we love him. We love Will. And he's done amazing and he gets, things. And he gets beautiful babies. When, it's uh, amazing. When Will took over, I think they had 15 hours of programming, and yeah. 12 of it was Will. Yeah. Like, he was the man. And 472 to their name. That's dollar-wise yeah. how much they had. Had a couple fundraisers. I believe they ran through a stack of CDs and made about five bucks. Yeah. Did Guitar Hero and made a couple more. Yeah, several, several dollars at Guitar Hero, I believe. Yeah. And quite frankly, it was an unsuccessful station at the beginning. But then... Things changed. Will took it over, and it's been only uphill since since he has um, gotten the reins. One big addition had to be the uh, Steve and Mike show. How did, how did that come about? The Steve and Mike show, I mean, it's it's almost a ridiculous story to tell now in retrospect. But to go back, it would have been the fall end of fall semester, mm -hmm. the weekend before finals. And myself, you were studying, right? Of course, we were studying. <laughs> well, we weren't studying. Me and my good friend, Mike Buckley, who I do the co-show, co who is my co-host, I'm sure you're familiar with Mike Buckley. Yes, I've met the fellow. We decide, let's screw homework, weekend before finals, let's go up to Minnesota to visit some friends of ours for mm -hmm. the weekend, you know. So we go up there, we, you know, hang out at the campus, you know, go to the casino that they had there. I won a few dollars, I'm just going to say. So driving back down on the way to UNO, we're, we're panicking. This is Sunday afternoon. I've got a psychology final tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. So we're studying. I've got my psychology book out, and he's helping me, and I'm helping him with the Spanish, you know. 
And and somehow in that long car ride home with our with our QT cup full of sunflower seeds, we just we kind of got a little crazy and we started joking around about how how it would be funny if we got a show on Mav Radio and yeah it'd uh-huh. be great if we had a show and it'd be funny yeah and then and then but no we'd probably get in trouble because we'd make fun of too many people you know and and you know like yeah and I think I said yeah the gay group would probably get mad because we'd probably let something slip there and they would get upset and then they would pick at us. And that then we would have to say that we were gay to, like, get out of it, you <laughs> Right, know? right. And that we'd play the foray and, you know, and, like, <laughs> make out in the studio. Oh, man. <laughs> it was like, that would be our cop-out. So we laughed about it, had a good time. I kind of knew Will through Dodgeball, the Dodgeball Club there at UNO. Right. So we laugh about it, you know, yada, yada, yada. I talked to Will about it. A few weeks later, Steve and Mike in the PM debuted oh, Wednesday no. afternoons. So that's how that started. Mm-hmm. And and then I called you. That's right. Because I knew you had an interest in sports journalism. So I thought, who better to c- come do our sports than John Green? I became Mav Sports, didn't yes, I? Yes, you became Mav Sports and our producer and just about everything else that was really important to our show. I like to people, tell people that on the scale of who's most important on the show, we have John Green at one, me at two, and Mike Buckley at three. Right. Because nobody's, Mike's not important at all. He never shows up, you know. Yeah. Who's just slightly above Andrew Masters, who's not even on our <laughs> show, but might be if Mike doesn't show up. If you'd like to see Mav Radio, first floor of the Milo Bale Student Center, there's a studio. It says Mav Radio. Just come on in there and talk to us. Yes. On the lower oh. part of the screen, the number is currently this, being displayed. This, you see this number right here, that, John? That thing? This one right here. Oh, oh, that number. This one right here. Yes, this number. Yeah. Yes. That, this that's, number, that's, that's the, the number. Call. So that just give that a is. call. Yeah. And... and uh, you can yeah. get in touch with Will, probably. Talk to or Mike and I. There. Yeah. Or Steve. Steve. If you ever do that again, I'll take your life. Let's talk a little bit about what MAV Radio is going to do in the future. This upcoming semester, which is closely approaching, there are a lot yeah. of big changes coming up and a lot of improvements. We're going to be uh, streaming on the internet. Oh, is that it's for pretty sure? pretty exciting. All of you out there, wherever you are, you can watch us on... Well, the, the camera feed won't be on Mav Radio. Right, except for, for our internet. camera feed on Channel 9. That, right, KTV. That's only in Omaha. Right, and that runs live. Uh, but we will have the radio feed on the uh, internet. It should be, and our podcast should be back, and better than ever, hopefully. More shows. We uh, have a new morning show, the B and... What was it? The after... after the morning, morning after show with B&B Squared. Something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. Wow. Cool guys, apparently, good that guys. are really cool. They're good guys. Um, and we're going to have 24-7 coverage. Are we? Yeah, we're going to stream all night long. Are we? Do we have the uh, Automatron? I think Andrew Masters is going to come in and stream, actually. I like how I'm asking questions on the interview of what <laughs> Mav that? Radio is happening. No, we do. We have automa- automa- automation systems. Masters is going to run it 24 Masters is going to run it 24 Set up a little sleeping bag. and That would be kind of funny. No, I can see it happening. But yeah, we're going to stream all night long. We're going to do replays of our best shows. Yeah, we'll hopefully do that. Yeah. And it's going to be fabulous. A lot more hours of programming than last year, even. Yes, check them out. We've got, it's only going to be bigger and better this year. And we're also going to be doing sports this year. I am the new sports director. Yeah, talk about this. Since Mike and I brought in a new Mav Radio sports guy. <laughs> That's right. You guys take all the credit. <laughs> um, true. We're not exactly sure what we're going to do because we're still getting our equipment work done. Right. But we're going to try to cover high school football and also UNO sports. Volleyball, soccer, basketball, wrestling, football, whatever we can get our hands on, we're going to get out there and do. Um, if you'd like to announce games for us, that'd be awesome because I don't want to do them all. You can definitely uh, call the number at the bottom of the screen or send us an email at the email address at the bottom of the screen. And, this uh, one right. That right there. Yeah. That, that number and the email address. An email address that's at the bottom. Um, and we'll definitely get you hooked up, get you on air. And we have funding this year. How's that? We had a fundraiser this summer called Mavade. Mavade, yes, I attended uh, several days of Mavade. Yeah, and uh, we were in Benson. We had six concerts. We had six concerts in Benson. We raised a thousand dollars, and that's going to improve the uh, the station. Yeah, it should be good. We're we've really, got. Um, really, yeah, go ahead. Really looking forward to this next semester. Yeah, here. we've got new friends over at Telepro Communications. Telepro, we want to give a, a special big thanks to Telepro who made this all possible. The we wouldn't whole, be on YouTube without them. the whole YouTube experience. They really made happen, and they brought us together, we're, and um, we would just really like to thank them. We're very excited about working with them in the future. Awesome. So, we'd like to wish you a very sunny afternoon here, and uh, us again. Another thanks to Telepro. Yeah. You all stay classy now, Omaha. Listen to Mav Radio. It's awesome.